Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, Alex checking back in again, and I got a lot of requests this week to talk about the origin of Platinum Smoothie. Got a lot of uh, emails and texts uh, kind of talking about, you know, some of the uh, people that have been kind of curious about what's been going on behind the scenes, you know, about how we all started. And the website gives proper information, but I mean, just kind of more of a personal story kind of seems that'd be more fun. Um, so as the website stated uh, three years back, um, it was a July hot summer, and I was outside, I was sitting in the sun, and I was thirsty, I was bored, I was tired, and you know, I went up to my dad, and I said, you know what, I want to start a business, I want to do something with my life, I want to be better, and he said, okay, how can I help you out, what are we going to do, and it all started with a trip to Home Depot, he said, you know, I want to build a greenhouse, I want there to be something that we can have in our backyard, especially after we had just taken out our shed um, earlier that month. Uh, we had a ton of room to uh, kind of build and regrow in, uh, in our backyard. So we went to Home Depot that day and we bought all the lumber and all the things to um, kind of start building our actual greenhouse. And that's kind of went into um, just starting how we started growing everything. Um, it was, I remember I came back after a couple, a couple weeks after we did, uh, started planting our greenhouse that day. And I remember thinking, I was like, I really wanted a double blended fruit smoothie. And I just kept thinking, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spice it up here too. Cause I wanted a shake, but I just wanted something that was fruity, but delicious. And it didn't have to be ice cream. So I thought, why not take some ice and some of the fresh fruits that I had from the backyard and blend them together to make a smoothie. And I had also had a bit of my sweet tooth in me as well when I had uh, taken a bit of my mom's uh, freshly made shortcake that she had made the day before. It was just, tasted just as if ordinary, um, just regular pound cake. It almost had the same consistency. And I blended that to kind of make it a sweet, textury feel. And I remember tasting it and I was like, this is life changing. I was like, I wanna do something with this. I was like, this is delicious. And I started with my family trying it and then I started it with uh, my neighbors trying it. And all of a sudden I was like, I can do something with this. I was like, I can make this, I can make this a product. And I was like, I think I know my business. I have exactly what I want to do. And for the next five months, actually, of that, I picked up three jobs. I was a dishwasher at one of our local restaurants. I think one of you might know, it might be McAllister's Deli. Another one of my jobs had been for a labor network. So I would be going from first shift at like five in the morning to about 2 p.m. And I would be stacking frozen pizzas in a warehouse. And for my third job, I had been a dog walker. So, and as well as dog walking, I would cut lawns, just anywhere I could make some sort of money to just, you know, where I could have um, something behind my name with just a recipe. And when it all started with that, it was that I needed somewhere, I needed somewhere to have this smoothie place. I needed somewhere to build this dream. And there was an actually an open vacancy that had opened up in our local strip mall um, right near one of our busiest intersections. And I thought to myself, I was like, that place seems legit. Like that, that could be it. I was like, I need somewhere to start. So at least I have somewhere that I can begin. So I ponied up all this money and the first lease payment um, had been up to 10 grand for the whole entire home building. Um, so my father and I had been um, collecting money and doing everything so that we could um, pay for and get into um, the building itself. So we had opened up finally, and it would have been grand opening day. And I was more than nervous, I was excited. Um, I had my, my parents and I had also a couple of friends. I had worked um, for free that day. Um, they asked that they just wanted to be a, an extra helping hands um, that could be around. Um, they didn't wanna, they weren't looking for a job, but they definitely wanted um, to be a part of the opening day that had been you know, one of their best friends uh, company. And within the first few hours, we hadn't had a single person come by. Like not even someone just stop by, drive, nothing. We had put out a big gold grand opening sign in the front and there was nothing. And after a little bit, we were thinking about, you know, maybe calling it quits. You know, I was like, what did I do? I was just overthinking everything of why I did that. And when it got to it, a team of, uh, the Carroll Stream Panthers came by and they had just finished up one of their baseball tournaments and one by one I see the little bus come out and I see one head, two head, three head, four head and all of a sudden there's a team of 10 to 15 boys uh, coming up, rushing up to the smoothie place and you know, with them followed parents and it, all of us just turned to each other and was like, okay, this is it, let's strap in. 
And we just kept feeding and feeding and feeding and feeding and just producing more smoothies for everyone that was coming in. And then with the line that had formed from the team, it brought in more customers from the outside that had walked in. It had been a beautiful day. And it's just business was booming that day. And since then, it had just been an expansion of where we were going to put more platinum smoothies of where we wanted to do that. And my vision had just been just for a happy, healthy smoothie the one day I wanted. And I never thought it would come as far as this, but... I can only thank those that have been with me the, the entire time, such as my family as well as some of my best friends that have been, continued to make this dream possible. And I can't thank you all enough, and especially to our loyal customers back at home. I just want to thank you guys to um, continue shopping with us at uh, Platinum Smoothie, and I hope that we can continue to make your experience every day um, a little bit better. So thank you again, and I hope to see you guys next Friday.